On today's episode, I'm going to share with you a drawer that I made for an Ender 3. It'll fit Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 Neo, maybe a few others. But it's right here at the front, slides right in, it's nice and solid. And I'll also show you how to fix really rough top surfaces and make them nice and smooth. All on today's Filament Friday. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. This video is sponsored by Creality3dofficial.com by Comgrow. I went to Tinkercad and I designed this drawer for an Ender 3. It mounts to a rail and it slides inside this simple box. I designed it to slide into the aluminum extrusion right behind the LCD bracket. And once that's in place, it's the perfect length to hold it in place. I brought it into Cura and I'm printing it standing up. That way I don't have to use any supports to print this thing. I'm using my extra fast profile for version 5.3 of Cura, which I haven't released yet. 0.28 layer height, two walls, and 25% infill. It says six hours and 24 minutes to print. And this is how it'll print from the bottom all the way up. Once it was printed, I need to install it on the Ender 3. To do that, you remove the two screws from the bracket that holds the LCD screen and slide it to the side. Now the box will slide right in the rail and you notice when it's all the way back, it's flush to the front of the aluminum extrusion. So when we put the LCD bracket back on, this thing shouldn't move at all. So I'll slide the bracket back over, put the two screws back in, one on the bottom, one on the top, and now when I pull this thing, it's tight. It's not sliding anywhere. For the drawer, I actually found one from Zoran Jovanovic on Tinkercad, but then I totally reworked it, including a different handle, but I did use the same tray layout. It's a different size and everything else to fit inside my box, but I liked what it had. The way I did the handle, I could lay it flat and cura and not have to use any supports. I'm using the same version 5.3 Extra Fast Profile, two walls, 25% infill. It says three hours and two minutes to print. It printed from the bottom all the way up, and it printed pretty good, except for the handle. I'll talk about that in a minute. But it slid in perfectly inside the box and fits fairly tight, so I don't have to worry about it sliding out. But here's the handle. Look, it's all bubbled up. And I had three top layers in this. I thought that would be enough. So I wanted to try different settings, so I just took the handle off of it, and I'm just going to print the handle and try some different settings in Cura. So instead of printing the drawer over and over, all I needed to do was print the handle. And that's what I did multiple times with multiple different settings until I finally got it at the end nice and smooth. Now in my profile for some reason I was using lines and I was printing at a 0 and 90 degrees to each other. And then in the top and bottom pattern I did the same thing lines and 0 and 90 degrees to each other. Which didn't work well with the cubic infill that I had. So this is the way I would print all the way across and then forward and back. And it just didn't like it. And so what I did is I changed it to zigzag for the top surface skin pattern and I left that as default because it should follow what I'm setting down here at the top and bottom line directions which I made zigzag and then I went 45 degrees and 135. That way it's angled away from the front and the back and that seemed to really clean things up. So when it got over the top of the infill it came out nice and smooth. And here's the results. A much smoother, no bubbling, much better handle. Now you could just increase the infill, and I tried that, and it helped, but it didn't completely solve it. In fact, at 25% infill with the zigzag and the 4535, it came out smoother than a 50% infill. So I wanted to see what I could do with the 25% and make it smooth, and I did. I found it was better with that 45135 and a zigzag. Now I did do 45135 with lines, and it did get better. So that 45135 was key, and I'm going to keep that in the profile along with the zigzags when I release this profile. In fact, I'm going to release the 0.28 extra fast profile with this print on Thang. So you can download this, put it on your own Ender 3, and you can try out this profile. But the full set of 5.3 profiles, when I release it, those will be to Patreon supporters. But this particular one will come with this file when you download it from Thang's. Creality3dofficial.com by Comgrow is an official reseller of the Ender 3 and all Creality products. The Ender 3 Neo is $219, but if you look closely, they have a discount code. And when I ran the discount code in my shopping cart, it saved me $54. So it's a big savings and puts you well under $200. So if you're looking at getting an Ender 3 Neo, check out Creality3dofficial.com by Comgrow. 
If anybody wants to remix this, please do it. Download it from Thangs, remix it, and re-upload it, and show me what you did. I'd love to see different variations of this drawer. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way to do it, or just buy through affiliate links in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Film of Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Film of Friday.